Welcome to Woodmanstone. At Woodmanstone, we are used to firsts. We are the first local authority community all through school in Lambeth. In 2017, we saw our first cohort of year seven pupils enter the school. In 2019, it was the first time we had been able to welcome prospective parents into our brand new secondary building. 2022, we'll see our first set of GCSE results. And of course, this is the first time we have had to conduct an open event virtually. We hope that this presentation will convey the key information that parents and children are looking for in making that very important decision about where their next school will be. My name is Sam Palin and I am the Executive Head Teacher here at Woodmanstone. It is my great privilege to be leading this exceptional school with our fantastic children and our truly inspirational staff. Here at Woodmanstone, we believe that it is our mission to achieve excellence together. That means by working in real partnership with our families, our pupils and all of our staff. We believe that by working together, we will inspire our pupils to become the very best versions of themselves. We haven't got a set of GCSE results to share with you, but here at Woodmanstone, we believe that education is our bread and butter. There is an expectation that excellence is delivered in the classroom. But we also think that school is more than learning the curriculum. We have a child-centered approach that is also focused on instilling our six core values of cooperation, aspiration, respect, integrity, unity, and responsibility. Our values are at the heart of how we behave, communicate, lead, and learn as a school. They are our roadmap through life, helping our children make confident, kind and well-informed decisions. At Woodmanstone, we make no excuses for having high expectations of our entire community in terms of academic progress, standards of behaviour and appearance. When we first began planning and preparing for our 2017 cohort of Year 7 Pioneers, we consulted with our primary parents, our children and our staff on what were the most important things that a secondary school should deliver. The things that you see on the screen now are the things that people came back with. We believe that our curriculum and the Woodmanstone Way delivers on all of these things. But for me, somebody that's been in education for over 20 years, what was really heartwarming to see is that more than an excellent set of GCSE and A-level results, the things that people really wanted for their children were for them to be confident, articulate, happy, well-rounded individuals. And that's what we believe we deliver at Woodmanstone. As an all through school that has grown from a primary provision, we understand the importance of our partnership with families. We know that when children move into the secondary phase, parents often feel disconnected from what's happening in the school and in the classroom. We try to make sure that we offer a range of ways to keep you connected. As well as the traditional parents' evenings and induction evenings, we encourage secondary parents to engage through the parent forum. We always have staff at the gates. We will communicate through letter and text we also really encourage our parents to engage with the weekly Woody News, to look at the website and to engage with our Twitter account, which highlights what our children are learning day by day. I'm now going to hand over to Miss Nassau, who is our head of school, and she will talk to you about our curriculum. Thank you, Miss Palin. I'm going to talk about the curriculum offer here at Wolfenstern. As you can see from this slide, our curriculum offer is quite traditional. Many of you already know that Woodmanstone Primary Phase provides a fantastic learning environment. We're in the unique position of having our secondary team already working with pupils and primary colleagues in class to ensure that the secondary phase builds upon this in order to provide a smooth transition and to avoid the dip that can sometimes occur at secondary. Despite best intentions at secondary, planning is often focused at Key Stage 4, especially with the recent changes to the GCSEs. 
It's been really exciting to be able to use our knowledge of GCSEs and the expertise of our primary colleagues to develop our Key Stage 3 curriculum. We're really excited that our small founding team of 12 staff has now grown to over 50. Despite a national shortage of teachers, we've had no problem recruiting. Teachers want to work at Woodmanstern. Although the content of our curriculum is quite traditional, the way in which we deliver it is quite unique. Every Year 7 class has a class base and the teachers travel to them. You can see on this sample timetable that the lessons shaded in green are the lessons where the children stay where they are and the teachers travel to them. Our Year 7 classrooms are very close to each other so that the pupils can't get lost. We also get to know the children very well. Instead of the 14 or so different teachers that you might get in secondary, we organise our curriculum to reduce the number of staff delivering lessons. So for example, classes have one teacher for all the humanities subjects, which is taught using a topic-based approach that's so successful at primary. When we talk to Year 6 pupils, two of their most common worries are getting lost and having lots of different teachers and new subjects. By having less movement and fewer faces, we help our pupils to settle quickly at Woodmanstern. We offer a number of enrichment activities at Woodmanstern. This slide shows just some of the clubs that run before school, at lunchtime and after school, including ballet, basketball, netball, band, woody strings, keyboard lessons and computer club. We pride ourselves on our trips and enrichment. Whatever each individual pupil's interest or passion, we've talented and committed staff determined to help your child to develop and to succeed. Some of our recent trips have included Kew Gardens, the Bank of England, Oxford University and our very own Medieval Day. At the end of the first week, we ask our pupils to write down what they think about being at Woody. Every year, two common themes come through. How kind our school community is and how much fun they're having in lessons. I hope I've given you an idea of how we've designed our curriculum and our philosophy that positive relationships, together with the challenging and engaging curriculum, will ensure the rest, including outstanding results, will follow. I'm now going to pass over to Joe McCarthy Deputy Head Teacher of our secondary phase, who's going to talk to you about transition and our pastoral system. Thank you, Ms. Nassau. My name is Jo McCarthy. I'm the Deputy Head Teacher here at Woodmanston. I imagine that for many parents and carers, this transition process between primary and secondary school is quite a daunting prospect because for some of you, you've never gone through this process before. I'd like to reassure you that we have gone through this process many, many times before. And I think that puts us at something of an advantage. We know what we need to do to make sure that the children are made to feel welcome and secure and safe when they arrive at their secondary school. And that starts from as far back as the end of year six at primary school. We have a transition unit for literacy that your child will experience whether they're at Woodmanston Primary School or any other primary school that's our feeder, feeder schools. And they will start with a book that focuses on unity and kindness. That book they will start to read with their primary school teachers and do some work on it in their primary school setting and then they will continue with that reading and learning into the first two weeks in their secondary school. That way we support them in this learning journey transferring from primary to secondary school. In terms of the transition process itself, there are a number of things that we do that help with this greater continuity. Your children are moving from often only one teacher to as many as eight or nine different teachers in a working week. 
We use some very basic behaviour management strategies that mean that all teachers are using the same strategies to get your child's attention, uh, to make sure that your child is following instructions nice and easily. One of the simple strategies we use is called the hands up strategy. With that strategy, the teacher will raise his or her hand and as the teacher raises their hand so the children do and the piece of magic that happens is that when you raise your hand your mouth closes and the teachers can then give instructions for the next exciting part of an experiment or further information that the children need to know. We also use things like a go around cup, which means that we pull out each name one at a time so everybody gets the chance to speak. And your children will experience those strategies whether they're in a French class or a PE class or a maths class. One of the other things that we make sure uh, we do is to keep the rules very simple and very short. We're not a school with a great big long list of things that you can and can't do. We keep it simple and it goes back to the being kind and doing the very best you can. And if or when things do go wrong, we have a fix it culture. So at the end of every school day, your child will be supported by his or her tutor to make sure that they know what went wrong and how to fix it for the following day. In terms of a smoother transition, we have uh, a number of teachers who work cross phase. So the children from the primary sector might be familiar with music staff, for instance, PE staff, and that helps to support their transition because that's some familiar faces for them. The other thing that we do to support the smooth transition is to make sure that every single year since we've opened, the year sevens have had a dedicated play space. They get to know other children in their year group and they get to know how to play and run and uh, chat in a safe way, in a safe environment. Behaviour at Woodmanston School is so good because the lessons that you, your children are going into are really engaging, exciting lessons and there's no opportunity to do anything other than learn. One of the things that we learned from the first few of these transition evenings that we did was that parents were really keen on the idea of us being a small school. And that made us think about how we could continue with that small school feel um, to make sure that the children felt that we knew them really well. And we came up with some ideas moving forward that help us in that transition process. Well, the answer is the advantage that you have over us at the moment. The, the advantage is in knowing the children really well. If they are known, they will have a sense of belonging. And we do that through good quality information from the primary school setting, information from you about your child, and information from the real expert, which is your son or your daughter. We feel that if we start right and we give the children opportunities to get to know us and one another as early as possible, that that will help ease that transition process. We have a really strong pastoral system here at Woodmanston School. Every child is allocated a tutor whom they see at least once a day in the morning for uh, some registration time. They have access to very positive role models in our older children in uh, schemes like pupil voice, house captains, prefects, which we uh, introduced last year. We have a very healthy competition through our house system, which runs from reception right the way through to year 10, actually. But in the secondary school, we celebrate every Friday when we find out which of the houses in blue, yellow, green and red are the winning team for that week. And those of you who are very local might spot that our houses are named after our local rivers. And every week we celebrate children who have achieved a certain number of house points that gives them a certificate. We've also got very healthy relationships with other local education establishments like uh, Kingston University and Lambeth College more recently. Many of you will already have met 
one of our greatest assets here at Woodmanstern because one of our greatest assets is your next door neighbor's son or daughter or one of your uh, older children who might be already here at Woodmanstern and if you haven't met them that way then maybe you've met them on a virtual tour that you've seen so far. Our children here at Woodmanstern are leading changes. They are influencing decisions and they are often suggesting areas for improvement to us, which we welcome. I've got some pupils here with me today who want to talk to you about something that's special to us, created by the children, and it's called the Woodmanstern Pledge. As Ms McCarthy said, a pledge was written by us, for us. A point I want to pick out that I enjoy the most is taking leadership roles. There are many roles you can, uh, many leadership roles you can choose from in and out of class, such as school council, house captain and eco warriors. Next year I am hoping to apply for prefect. Good luck to me, passing over to Brooke. One point I would like to pick out is participating in a match. The Women's and Netball Girls first at local school. We tried our best and I play a goal defence. One thing that makes us most proud is when schools come here and verse us, because they get to use our outstanding sports facilities. Passing on to Kevin. Finally, we went on a trip to Bletchley Park and we met Princess King. It was an amazing experience. One thing that we still want, <clears throat> a residential trip. So teachers, listen up. We would like to go on one and pass on you over to Miss McCarthy. Whether we are able to offer tours in school over the next academic year or whether it's a tour that you see online that's a virtual tour, I feel sure that you will be able to see Year 7 children who will have benefited from their first few weeks or months at Woodmanston School. On their way round the tour, they will no doubt introduce you to Year 8, 9 and 10 children who will show you that they are those confident, articulate, well-rounded, happy children that Ms Palin talked about at the start of our presentation. We look forward to meeting you all. I'm going to pass you back to Ms Palin now. Thank you. Thank you, Ms McCarthy. I hope that this presentation has answered some of your questions and has given you a flavour of what Woodmanstone School is all about. At this point in the presentation, I usually advise parents not to take our word for it, but to bring their children into the school and to see for themselves what Woodmanstone's about. Unfortunately, at the current time, we are unable to invite you in. So I would encourage you to visit the school website and to look at our virtual tours. The final thing I have to say is about the number of places that we have available for next year. As a through school, our 60 year six pupils are automatically able to transfer, which means that there are 90 places for any child that is not at Woodmanstern currently that would like to come to join us in the secondary phase. Thank you for taking the time to listen and engage with our virtual presentation and we very much look forward to welcoming you to Woodmanstone in the near future. Goodbye.